Hey guys, this is Dan Krikorian with Be Viral and Be Remembered Productions. And today we're gonna speak about the five things you need to know going into a wedding. So, very simple. Uh, yes, we know you may know how to shoot. You may have to know how to point the camera. Maybe even know how to parallax, do some pretty amazing things. I'm not here to talk about those. I'm here to talk to you about the customer service end of things. This is going to make or break your business. And this is how we've grown at such a rapid rate. So the first number five, which is so funny, but for all you men out there, even for women, you gotta know how to tie a tie. I know it seems simple, but there are so many occasions, people are running around, this is a stressful day for any bride or groom, and you need to make sure that you are there taking care of them. It seems like it's nothing, but go on YouTube, you're on here already, go learn how to tie a tie, practice on yourself. The big thing there is you are saving the day, and they're gonna remember that, and they're gonna remember how you were able to take care of them. I know it's not what's in your bag, it's not about your responsibilities, it's about just being a decent human being and taking care of the people who are paying you money to be there. So tie the damn tie. Hey guys, number four, it's pretty simple, but again, something to know. Be respectful, okay? When, this is the, the best example I have. When a bride's getting dressed, man, woman, doesn't matter, okay? Groom, you name it, ask them, should I leave the room? Should I do this? Be polite, talk with them. Communication is really what it's about here and they feel more comfortable. When you're putting on Lavelle mics, you know, we'll talk about that in a later episode, but when you're putting them on, asking them, hey, do you wanna slide it down your shirt? Don't get up in their face. They don't wanna smell your coffee breath. They don't wanna feel uncomfortable on the day off. They have enough stresses. Go ahead and just communicate with them. Tell them what you need. Ask them what they need and try to help them accomplish this day because it's a team effort and that's the way you have to go into it. You're their friend on that day. Yes, you're there to do a job, but you're their friend and how you act, how you react and how you treat them is a huge part of the business. So be respectful, be personable, and take care of your people, and they will take care of you. Number three is very simple as well. Be responsive, okay? The internet is a scary place. They just hired you. They probably saw your videos, whatever it may be. Text them back quickly. Email them back quickly. Make sure that you're responsive to their needs, responsive to their questions. Yes, it can be a lot sometimes, but that is your job and they're paying you. That's a part of the rate. It's not from the time you show up and the time you leave. People remember when you take care of them. Having sheets for them to fill out is great and learning the information from inquiries is important, but being able to text back and forth and make them feel comfortable, it's establishing that respect and communication prior to stepping on site because then on site will be not only easier for you, but you'll feel more comfortable talking to them to begin with. And it goes right back into the personality and everything will feed into one another. Now, number two, I think you know this will be a part of how you pack your bag, but bring backups. The last thing you want is to be dead in the water. No one wants that, you don't want that. They want you to be prepared and you wanna be prepared because knowing that you have everything with you on that day will make you more comfortable and allow you to focus on that actual day. Yes, my phone is going off because I'm being communicative, ha, huh, gotcha. Yeah, so the big thing, guys, is establishing that communication, but when you bring those backups and you go ahead and you feel comfortable, you say, hey, look, I have extra SD cards. Okay, I have plenty of space for them. I have, we use packets, we label all of our SD cards. We know what's going for what. We know that we have them for our drone work. We know we have them for our photographers. We have multiple for our photographers, depending upon the amount of hours. You can estimate these things. Give yourself some lenience, right? Give yourself some lenience with batteries. Make sure they're charged the night before. They're packed up extras, right? It's very simple, but it is huge because you're gonna roll into that wedding knowing that you are comfortable, you're ready to go. You're gonna feel it, the customer is gonna feel it. It's a good day. So for any of you coming in from the actual filming world, realize that on wedding days, there's no do-overs, okay? So 
having the extra equipment, huge. Shooting certain ways, huge. We'll get into that in the next video. James will walk you through that, our director. But right now, we're gonna go into our last and really the final part. Uh, number one, if no one notices you, that's a good thing, okay? We call it being non-invasive. That's exactly how you want to act. It's totally their day and you need to make it that much better. You need to make it a special day for them or stay out of the way and make sure that their special day runs without a hitch, okay? That's the big thing. Make sure you're running without a hitch. Hey guys, I'm Dan Krikorian from Beer Viral and Beer Remember Productions. Please, if you have any inquiries, want to reach out to us for any questions, feel free to email us serious inquiries at info at bereremberproductions.com for weddings and info at beviralproduction.com for any of our film TV production. Uh, links are in the description. We'd love to talk with you. Hopefully we'll, you'll join us for our next video and we'll see you soon. Thanks guys.